Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this open base circuit and here we have been given that because of the poor regulation, here the supply voltage has the ripple of plus minus 200 millivolt and here the frequency of the ripple is equal to 100 hertz. That means this ripple will appear on top of this supply voltage. So how much ripple that will be suppressed by the op -amp depends on the PSRR of the op -amp. So for that, here we have been also given the PSRR D rating curve for the operational amplifier. So of course, this op -amp will not be able to suppress the entire ripple voltage and some fraction of the ripple voltage will appear at the output side. So the amount of ripple voltage that will be appear at the output side will depend on the gain of the op -amp as well as the PSRR of the op -amp at the particular frequency. So from the given data, let us find the amplitude of the peak to peak ripple voltage at the output side. So here, to find the value of the PSRR at the 100 Hz, we have been also given the PSRR D rating curve. So at the 100 Hz, if you see, then the value of the PSRR is equal to 60 dB. So first of all, let us convert this decibel value of the PSRR into the voltage form. So we know that the PSRR value in the decibel can be given as minus 20 log of this delta VIO that is the change in the input offset voltage divided by the delta Vs. So here the value of the PSRR at the 100 Hertz is equal to 60 dB. So we can say that this 60 is equal to minus 20 log of this delta VIO divided by delta Vs. Or we can say that this delta VIO divided by delta Vs is equal to 10 to the power minus 3. Or we can say that that is equal to this 1000 microvolt per volt. That means here the value of the PSRR is equal to 1 millivolt per volt. So now if we know the change in the supply voltage, then from that we can find the value of the change in the input offset voltage. So here we have been given that the change in the supply voltage or the value of the ripple is equal to plus minus 200 millivolt. That means if we see the value of the peak to peak ripple voltage or this delta Vs, then that is equal to 400 millivolt. So from this, we can easily find the value of the delta VIO. That means here, this delta VIO is equal to delta Vs times the value of the PSRR. And here, that is equal to 1 millivolt per volt. That means this delta VIO is equal to delta Vs times PSRR. So here this delta Vs is equal to 400 millivolt while the value of the PSRR is equal to 1 millivolt per volt. So from this we can say that here the change in the input offset voltage is equal to 0.4 volt times 1 millivolt per volt and that is equal to 0.4 millivolt. That means here the overall change in the input offset voltage because of the change in the supply voltage is equal to 0.4 millivolt. And at the output, this change in the supply voltage will get amplified by the noise gain of the op -amp. So here, the op -amp is configured in the inverting configuration. But if you see the noise gain of the op -amp, then that is equal to 1 plus RF divided by R1. That means here, the change in the output voltage because of the change in the input offset voltage is equal to 1 plus this RF divided by R1 or we can say that this delta VO is equal to 1 plus this 30 kilo ohm divided by 10 kilo ohm times delta VIO and here this delta VIO is equal to 0.4 millivolt. That means here the change in the output voltage is equal to this 1 plus 3 times 0.4 millivolt or we can say that the overall change in the output voltage is equal to 1.6 millivolt. That means here, because of the ripple voltage, there will be a change in the input offset voltage. And because of the change in the input offset voltage, we will observe some change in the output voltage. That means at the output, we will observe the peak to peak ripple of the 1.6 millivolt. And that will appear on top of the DC voltage. So here, this DC voltage will get amplified by the op -amp, but on top of that, we will observe the peak to peak ripple of the 1.6 millivolt. So this amplitude 
is equal to 1.6 millivolt. So from this we can say that here the peak to peak ripple voltage at the output is equal to 1.6 millivolt.